This is happening. We're doing this. We are doing this, aren't we? All right. This is the new norm, I guess. Uh, doing a comedy show with myself, apparently. This how this how it's gonna go down. All because of COVID. All because of the COVID. We can't get regular people here, so I have you guys, which I appreciate. It's a good-looking crowd. But there's really, honestly, there's only so much of myself I can take, so hopefully you guys are at least entertained a little bit and find this humorous. I don't know. Because if not, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get weird. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to get weird. Next time we see ourselves in the mirror, going to have that awkward moment trying to figure out who's going who's gonna to talk first. And uh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't really want to deal with that too much. I don't know. The world has gone crazy. It's flipped. It's nuts. 2020 is done. It's crazy. And so many opinions, so many different things you have to do. I can't follow. I don't know what to do. I just do what my wife tells me. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just going to do what my wife tells me to do. It seems to work out better that way. Right? If she says wear a mask, I'm going to wear a mask. That's it. It comes down to it. I'm done arguing. I have no idea. Honestly, I don't really care too much what's going on in the world and politics. But I do, I do care about the peace and tranquility in my house. It's kind of a big thing for me. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna wear the masks. Um, the masks is that, that's the hot topic right now. That's the hot topic. <laughs> the mask is split the world in two. It's like blood and crips, sharks and jets. You have to like rethink everything, everyday things. You know, the best thing about the mask, I'm gonna tell you right now, best thing about having the masks is that it's completely gonna cure people with bad breath. Yeah. Legit. <laughs> that's gonna be rebounding back to them constantly. They'll be like, <sighs> <laughs> oh, that's me? That's me. That is me the whole time. Nobody said anything. That has been me. I have to bleach my mouth now. I need to bleach. What type of friends are you? This is insane. It'll cure it, right? <laughs> they finally figure out what we've been dealing with. So that's cool. That's a plus, right? That's a... It's, oh. Masks. A little piece of fabric changes everything how we live. Oh. I'm going to... <laughs> going to like a grocery store, right? Or like a gas station to pick something up. I feel like I'm gonna go rob the place. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Is it just me? It's just me. You can't, no, see? It's not, it's not just me. I feel like I'm gonna rob the place. In fact, actually, I make it kind of like a, a game with my kids, right? I'm like, we're just gearing up. I'm like training them for a life of crime, right? I'm like, all right, guys, we got two minutes. We got a two minute window. I need you to go get the milk. I need you to get some candy. I'm gonna get myself some coffee. No eye contact with any, anybody. Put everything in the bag, right? Put it all in the bag, masks up. No first names, no first names. All right, let's go, 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 go. Seriously, that's what it feels like, though. That's what it feels like. A year ago, a year ago, you could, you can go into, uh, a convenience store, right? Gas station, right? If you wore a mask, right? The first thing people are going to be thinking is, uh-oh, someone's going to get it. Yeah. Now if you go in there with a mask, without a mask, without a mask, people are like, uh-oh, I hope I don't get it. <laughs> like it changes, changes everything. I still my shirt. <laughs> like it. Yeah. My new blue shirt. Uh, looking good, man. Looking good. Uh, masks. I don't know. Uh, Just listen to what my wife says. That's it. That's been it for about eight years. Makes life a whole lot easier. Mm. You know? That's true. I'm a completely different man now because of this woman. I married up, that's for sure. Definitely married up. Mm -hmm. I was an idiot when I was younger. Mm. I was a dummy. I married this lady. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Completely different man because of her. <laughs> completely different man because of her. And she'll own that. She'll own that, right? Give it up for her. That's awesome, right? Good wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I get completely, get completely confused. I'm not going to lie. I get confused and a little, I don't understand why she gets mad at the little things I say and do now because I'm a completely different man because of her. <laughs> Just saying. So all this is her fault now. So I don't understand. I'm saying that. She needs to own that. She won't own that. She needs to own that one. But it's crazy. But she's the best. She really is. Oh my gosh, she's the best. And that's what we need. I think we need a good, a good person in our life, a spouse, a best friend. We need something like that. You know, the title of a wife, right? You know? 
Let me be honest with you. This is why we don't have a woman president. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is for real. This is the inside scoop. It has nothing to do, nothing to do with being sexist. This country is not sexist at all. No, it has nothing to do with that. The reason why we don't have a woman president is because that will be America's wife. <laughs> and we can't, we can't handle that as a country. There's no way. No way we can handle that. The tagline for America is land of the free. Home of the brave. That doesn't, that doesn't sound like a modern husband right now. I can tell you. We're, we're single. America's single. That sounds like a single person. Yeah, we're single. Yeah. For crying out loud, the last relationship we had was with England. And, you know, back then we were like, you know what? You're a little too clingy. Keep telling me what to do. I'm out. Peace. And we went to the other side, the other side of the ocean to get our space. Right? Then we're hanging out with all the different countries. We're getting into fights, blowing all our money. Just, wow, America, we're crazy. Oh, build a wall, no wall, let's fight. Oh, my land. You know, it's crazy. We're just nuts. We're in our 20s. Yeah, America, America's in our 20s, pretty much. And we can't handle the wife. We, we're not ready for that yet. We're not ready to settle down and have someone kind of guide us to be the people that we need to be. Right? If we had a woman president, she'd be like, excuse me, uh, what, what are you doing with the military? Where, where do you plan on going? <laughs> with, with who to do what? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry. No. Have you seen this place? Do you, do you have eyes? This place is a mess. Can you do something? Fix it. Go. Clean it up. Meanwhile, America is like, I'm a grown-ass country. You don't tell me what to do. I, if I want to put boots on the ground, I will put boots on the ground wherever I want to. You know what? I worked hard for these boots. Meanwhile, she's like, excuse me, nothing. Nothing? No? I didn't, no, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say a thing. No, I love you. Yeah, yeah no, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go take care of uh, unemployment and, and corruption and stuff. What, what, what do we need? What do we need? We need milk. We need milk, too? <laughs> right, come on. Good wife. I joke aside, though. She's my wife, the best. Like, I keep saying that. Like, literally, I call her wife all the time, like, in public. I'm not just saying it to you because I forgot her name, which is half the reason sometimes. You know, that's the joke. People are like, why do they always call you wife? Is that weird? My wife always says that, well, because he forgets my name sometimes, I don't know. Literally, though, it's, it's because it's a title. It's a title. It's prestige. I put her to this upper echelon. That's my wife, right? Yeah. That is my wife. And you always remember your first. Okay, she's really set the bar for the other ones. You know, that's hard. No, that, that, that's, I feel like Leonidas all the time, but we've been married eight years. And I, for the last eight years, I'm walking around, and I'm calling her my wife. I'm like Leonidas. I'm like, my queen, my love, my wife. <laughs> right? That's it. Mm. It's hot, right? It's awesome. It's manly. <laughs> but I think after all this time, these eight years, I think it doesn't sound like Leonidas to her. It sounds more like Borat. I'm like, my wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not sexy. <laughs> I don't think that does it anymore. Oh, uh, that guy, no? Getting the mustache thing going on, so maybe, I don't know. No? It doesn't, doesn't do it. Oh. The woman's amazing. Uh, the world's flipped. It's crazy. You know, everyone's afraid of the big baby boom that's coming up. That's going to be the next pandemic, right? Because everyone got fired in their home, right? You think there'll be babies all over the place? There's going to be babies coming off of the trees, coming out of the sewers. Babies climbing on top of other babies like World War Z. Just go, 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 go. Baby, baby pandemic. It's crazy. My wife the other day, my wife even brought up. She goes, you know what? <laughs> what if we had another kid? You know, we have three. Three beautiful, amazing, weird children. She's like, what if we have another kid? Her reason is because she hates odd numbers. Yeah. That's her reason. Yeah. That's not a good time to hate numbers. Have an issue with numbers right there? That's, that's not the time. I understand one extra scoop of sugar into your coffee or breaking off a banana from a bunch to put it in your bunch at the grocery store so it's even, but not another kid. That's, uh, that's another bill, right? And uh, I think that's what everyone's most, mostly afraid of for the most part is all these babies coming. Everyone's just because they're home, right? Everyone's Netflix and chilling. Is that what, is that what the kids still say? Right? Netflix and, uh, see, that's how old I'm getting now. I'm at the, the part of my life where I'm, I'm referring to, is that, was that what the kids say now? 
Is that what's hip? Is that is what the kids are saying? Net chick for Netflix and net chicks. Net chicks. Those are net chicks. Netflix and chill, right? It's really like a young person's game. It's definitely a single person's game. That's for sure. Netflix and chilling. When you're married, you don't have that. You have Netflix and don't touch me. That's it. Pretty much sums it up. I see my wife on my on her phone looking at uh, Netflix. And then I'm just, you know, trying to be romantic and smooth. I kind of like sit down next to her. I'm like, hey, I mean, what's this? And she'd be like, what are you doing? I'm like, no, I'm not just, you know, I just want to see what you're watching. Why are you so nosy? I, how about, you know what, how about we just put it on the TV? We'll watch it together. Say, Don't you have something better to do? I do now. I do now. You know what? I'm, I'm gone. And I go into the kitchen and I start cleaning dishes with great intensity. I'm like, that was the last time I'm going to be romantic to you. You don't even know my love language. That's crazy. Netflix and don't touch me. Oh, man. I, I don't think that's really the biggest issue with the, uh, this baby boom. Because we're home, I think. The biggest thing is that a lot of relationships are going to be breaking up if they haven't already, right? Um, because the worst thing for a relationship uh, and a marriage is for the husband and wife to be together all the time. <laughs> right? They always say separation makes the heart grow fonder. No, separation makes you not murder your spouse. That's pretty much what it comes down to, I think, what it is. Yeah. So I'm happy. I'm so blessed to have a job right now that is like, 12 hours a day. I'm gone. I'm gone from 9.30. I come back at 9.30, and that's it. And I come home, and my wife's like, my husband's here. <laughs> yeah. At least, no, that's what, that's what I have in my head. I think that's what she, I mean, that would be awesome. It's more like, daddy's home, mommy's clocking out, boop, boop, bye. <laughs> and she leaves me there with the three kids. I come home to some sort of tornado, or some, some just like natural disaster. The kids are freaking out all over the place. It's like Superman going in and saving people from a burning building. And then Mati, Mati, that little Indian guy from Captain Planet with a stupid heart ring, right? That stupid heart ring comes in, he rolls up, and Superman's like, you know what? You got this, bye. Out. I, I'm powerless. I don't know what to do. I'm powerless, right? I look at my kids and my guys, stop fighting, stop yelling, love, love each other, daddy's home, daddy's other. I'm useless. I'm absolutely useless. It's crazy. All I want to do from a long day of work is just come home, relax, maybe. Maybe watch some Netflix with my wife. Don't touch me. Fine! <laughs> you want me to be a father? I'll be a father. Kids, grab your toys. We're going to bed. We're going to bed. We're out. Sit. Sit. Done with this. <laughs> no. Joking aside, that is my queen. That is my love. That is my wife. <laughs> no, she's, she's amazing. The best cook in the world. Oh, my gosh. Best cook in the world. Seriously. Amazing. It's so good. I noticed, though, in the last eight years of marriage, um, if I come home and there's more food than there should ever be for, for the five of us, and she's cooking in silence, mm. then she's, she's mad. I pissed her off. Uh, I come like, how you doing, babe? I'm fine. Uh, and she'll cook this like Thanksgiving meal on a Tuesday. Uh, I'm like, oh, my gosh. I go, what happened? I also found out really quick, I found out that when she's depressed, she bakes. I get home, I'm like, oh, brownies! Oh, no. You know, same thing. She's just a bit quiet and gone. And I'm like, oh. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes, sometimes, I know, sometimes I come home and it's a twofer. She's upset. She's depressed. And those days, those days are they're just delicious. I'm not going to lie. They're absolutely <laughs> delicious. I eat like a king. Like, it's insane. It's good. You know, and the lesson I learned is, is if it's not broken, don't fix it. So, you know, I, pick your battles. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's the reason. I used to be so, so in shape. But it's okay. I'll take that sacrifice. I'll take it for the team. You know, that's what I miss about this whole, you look great. Uh, this whole crazy COVIDness, right? is uh, can't go out to eat. I miss it. I miss it. Can't go out to eat. It's insane. Right? Got to wear your masks, too. Right? Got to go in there. and you, It's just weird. Going someplace with a mask in public. It's like, oh, how are you doing? You know? That's nuts. These masks. I keep coming back with these masks. It's insane. These masks, you know, like, I have like a 10-year-old brain in this 38 perfect body. 
Mm. Yeah. But this is how I see it. Pretty much 50% of the characters in Mortal Kombat wore a mask, right? So like, why don't you just, you know, whatever character you normally play as, do what they do. That'd be easy, right? right? They're, half of them are, are wearing a mask when they're fighting and fatality-ing, right? So whatever, I mean, it's, it's good for them. It's good for you, right? That's what I feel like though when I wear these masks. I come in there, I feel, to any place, I feel like I'm Scorpion, right? I'm like, get over here! Whoa! Social distancing! <laughs> Finish him. <coughs> Pandemic wins. It's, it's weird. It's all weird. I mean, it's just weird right there that you guys laughed and clapped to a pandemic winning a fight. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to ruin the mood <laughs> with taping and everything, right? But, like, <laughs> you know, half of you are like, <laughs> It's weird going to a restaurant, a nice restaurant with a mask. Mm. Like, I don't know. Mm. It's not too bad if you go to like a fast food place like McDonald's or something or, or Taco Bell. I love, I love Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. Mm. I love it. I went to the Taco Bell finally. They finally, everything's opening up a little bit. So I went to a Taco Bell I haven't been to in a while. And I noticed they had a giant touch screen, right? Mm. It's huge. So you touch it, set your order, and then they call you up. You don't have to talk to anybody ever again. You know, delete the middleman, mm -hmm. right? Mm -mm, not me. I need I need face to face clearly. Mm. I need interaction. You know, I'm not gonna let no stinking droid take my order. No, I know where this is going. You got touch screens to terminators. We know where this is all going, right? Right? COVID-19 is eventually gonna be C19. Then we're gonna have a C800. Then we're gonna be creating some C1000. It's all over. It's nuts. That's just. That's, uh, that's how it ends. That's how it ends. Oh, man. Oh, stupid. But anyways, I pass the pass the screen and I go up to the front counter and. Uh, mm. I'm waiting there, and they're in the back. They see me, but no one's gonna come up to me like I'm diseased or something. And there's a line, and the guy in the line is like, "Hey, uh, you'll be, you'll be better off using the touch screens. You'll be a lot faster." I'm like, "Are you sure?" He's like, "100%." I'm like, "All right, thank you." And this is the weird thing that happened. He looked at me with a glimmer in his eye, looked me up and down, and said, "Hey, no problem. I just want to give you some hope." <laughs> and I was taken back. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. This was a first. This was a first for me. I was taken back. Clearly, I let this guy on to believe something completely different about myself, right? So I went up to him, you know, very gently and politely. Went up to him. I'm like, thank you for that kind gesture of hope. But uh, uh, as you can see, I'm married. So. All hope for me is gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then we laughed and high five, had burritos after we made out and stuff like that. <laughs> so you're like, that did not happen. You guys are like, wait, no, that, that didn't happen. I know we're joking. We're, it's a joke. Joking. Last part obviously wasn't true. It wasn't burritos. It was soft shell tacos. We know this. <laughs> Love it. Oh, man. I feel weird doing that joke, not necessarily in front of you guys, but if my mother-in-law sees this, I probably shouldn't have worn the blue shirt too, the, this baby blue shirt. First time she ever met me, she thought I was gay, so I, just, I don't need to give her any more ammunition, but yeah, that's serious, you know, you were there. I was gay. And then I married her daughter, I'm like, ha ha, Maria! Mm. And just like that, she's like, you know what? You're part of the family now, no matter what. You know, if you come out of the closet, we'll still support you. We still love you, Juan. And I'm like, oh, you. Mm. Mm. Then my son was born. I'm like, I got your daughter pregnant. <laughs> and she goes, you know, there's a lot of gay men who have babies, right? And I'm like, oh, you're right. All right. She's quick. And then immediately, immediately after it, she goes, by the way, you know, how do you know it's yours? Uh, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> woman's tough. Woman's tough. Not gonna lie. I should have known this from the beginning. I should have known this from the day I decided to be part of this family. You know, I'm old school. I'm 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 about traditions. So when I decided I'm gonna ask my wife to marry me, you know, I, I want to get permission, blessing from her father, right? Mm -hmm. So I sat down her father and her mother and went to the house, right? And I sat them both down. I go up to her father. I'm like, Eddie, you know, I love your daughter so much. We've been dating for a while. And I was mustering up enough emotion because it's scary. You know, looking at the father, a 
of your of your future bride, mm -hmm. right? I'm like, can I get can I get your blessing to marry her? And I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. He looked at me. He goes, whatever Maria says is fine. <laughs> what, 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 what? So I'm, I'm staring at him, and then it's just like, <laughs> did you hear all that? You heard all that, right? OK. Like, what do you do? And I said, do I say it all over again? Like, I worked really hard to get that out while, like, crying in front of, in front of him. Like, I'm manning up, you know? And then all of a sudden, like, I get it out, and he's like, man, whatever. And uh, I got to look at this woman. Do I have to repeat it again? Like, do I switch it up? Is there a mom edition? No one ever told me this. <laughs> and uh, I ask him, like, is it cool? Like, I don't know. No? And she goes, you sure that's what you want to do? Uh, I'm like, yeah. You sure you want to marry her, though? <laughs> yeah. What are you not telling me? <laughs> She's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm okay with it. No, you're welcome. Yeah. I got to ask, though, how much do you love Netflix? <laughs> That's my time, guys. Thank you so much. We did it. We filmed it. This is going to be weird. Let's we'll see how it works out. I don't know. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Uh.